Peace, my beautiful family. So, I don't want to make this video too long, but I wanted to come on here, generally make a video that encompasses majority of my ideas that have to do with this election or selection that just happened. The reason that I say selection is because if you all look at the votes, you will see that Hillary Clinton won the popular vote of the country while Donald Trump won the electoral college vote. If you do not know what the electoral college is, please do your research. But you can basically say that the people do not choose the president, that there have been times within history where the electoral vote and the popular vote did not coincide, and the electoral vote is actually the vote that wins, not the popular vote. But anyway, I guess we'll just start there. Number one is that it's a selection, it's not an election. So why get worked up about something that we didn't control in the first place? They knew who they wanted to select as president right from the start, which is why Trump is president, which is why you can go back, do research, look at history, look at media, see how Trump has already been uh, prophesized as the president. So I'm not going to get into all the conspiracy quote unquote things the next thing oh <laughs> i have a i have an x on my shirt right now why do i have an x on my shirt oh because it's about malcolm x today i'm gonna make it about malcolm x because what did malcolm x believe he believed that black people needed their own political party but if not their own political party he believed that they needed to have their ideas together and to know the power that they had within this system so that they could Basically, the, the, the presidential candidates did not just buy us out rather than us being decisive in what it is that we wanted. What does it mean to be a Democrat? What does it mean to be a Republican? Most black people vote on a Democratic basis. Why? Because we believe that the Democrats are the ones that are about uh, health care uh, for all or the ones that are about trying to get homeless people off the street or feed people, you know, governmental assistance. While the Republican Party is more about do for self, you know, if I was able to make it, then you should be able to make it, right? And most black people don't have those ideas, you know, most minorities don't have those ideas. Most minorities um, generally vote for Democrats, even when they are um, completely uneducated about what those actual political stances may be so why is it that we accept the fact that there is the democratic and republic the democratic and republic party why why is it that we accept the reality that has been handed down to us rather than creating our own um because in my personal opinion, neither one of those parties have anything to do with black people. Well, that's not even a personal opinion. That's just fact. Neither of them have anything to do with black people. And, and we mold or adapt our views to fit into a party. But why not create a party that is actually for our views and, and our own philosophies? Um, and honestly, if I were to vote anything, to be honest, I would probably have to say Republican. Because... The Republicans, at least they are due for self as Donald Trump. He don't give a fuck about you. And it lets it, at least it lets it be known like you must do for self. So that's my point is that I believe that Donald Trump being president, it brings black people to a place where you have no other choice but to do for yourself. Because you know that America, that the president themselves shows you that they don't care about you. So what is your other option but to do for self? It may seem so horrible that this is the president of the United States now, whatever. It may seem that way, but understand that there are levels of consciousness and sometimes undesired events must happen to progress us forward in our levels of consciousness. You know, this had to happen in order for us to really lose these ideas of hope that stops radical action. We need radical action. So, um, with that being said, the fact that Trump didn't lose by that much of a popular vote, and he also did win the electoral vote, I would recommend that black people realize, and people of color in general, general realize, that this is a time for us to get our shit together. 
to unify with our people, to know what we want in life, to do those things and prepare for anything. If you see all these white races that come out when Donald Trump comes out for a speech, what do you expect now that he's president? We must be prepared. We have not been prepared this entire time. Why? Because we've been so hopeful. We haven't lost hope yet, you know? Uh, we haven't lost hope in someone else supporting our needs and our wants. But I'm happy to say that that's something that ends here. That we no longer can tolerate this idea of waiting to see what the president is going to do to change our lives. Fuck that. Change your own life. Change your life. Let's change our community. The same way Obama didn't have any effects or any say-so in what our community did and what we were building on. He president. He not work. He can't come to Chicago or New Orleans or fucking Detroit specifically and say, hey, black people, are y'all getting together? No. So at the end of the day, just build yourself up. Don't allow a president of the United States to govern your actions or your inaction. You know, be powerful, be in power regardless. Know that what we need to do is be in a place where regardless of who fucking wins, we're still straight because we got our finances, we got uh, our unity, we got uh, business, we got everything taken care of. We got health care, we got all of those things taken care of. So that's pretty much the direction that I foresee us going is getting our shit together. So I'm, I'm, I'm just here to be an observer of, of, of what life brings our way. And it's not for me to feel either good or bad about it, but I still recognize it for what it is, which is that Donald Trump has now raised the consciousness of not just blacks, but all people of color and the entire country and maybe the entire world. Who knows? Because I'm not outside of this country, but and that's just what it is. All right. That's. A ramble, it had select points, you know, a real point. But you can get what you want from it. Disagree if you want to disagree. No, I did not vote. Because like my dude Malcolm X said, why vote for people who ain't, you know, got nothing to do with our interests? And if we are going to vote, then it needs to be when black people realize what it is that they want and see which candidate is actually going to follow through with those wants. But until we get ourselves together, what are we voting for? Aimlessly voting just because... We say our ancestors died for us to vote when in all actuality, they didn't die for us to vote. They died for our liberation. They died for our freedom. And guess what? No matter if you vote, if you have not seen already, while they have died and they couldn't see it, if you haven't seen, you voting for a president does not change the fact that you're not free. So keep voting if you want to do that. That's your choice. But at the end of the day, Clearly, so many black people voted for Hillary because they didn't want Trump to win. But look, Trump still won. Think about that. Get your life together. Get your own president, black America president. You know, the president of black America. I don't really know. But we just, things need to change. And it starts here. So thankfully, to the universe, to the ancestors, to the Orishas, to whatever it is that you believe in. Thankfully, these energies are teaching us something right now. All right, I'm done. Peace, love, black power all day, every day. Ain't no other way, okay?